So I'm out here recording for episode two, and I'm watching the live SpaceX launch. And here comes Alex Markowski, one of my favorite humans. Hey, you're probably going to see Alex a lot this year. <laughs> Today is the first day of class. Let's talk about NSO. The freshmen move in on a Sunday, and the first day of class is a Thursday. And for the days in between, we have new student orientation, NSO. This is for all the new students at WPI, and these days are jam-packed, 7, 8 in the morning to 11 at night, with events that help people get to know each other and get to know the campus. Students usually go around with people that they're living with in their residence hall, and they learn about each other, they learn about resources on campus, they learn what to expect out of life at WPI. It's a fantastic few days that give students tools they need to actually go into the year and be successful. You can't cover everything in just a few days, but it does give people a really good start. The NSO schedule is very intense, and by the end of it, I remember being very ready to start classes. But the secret to being successful in college, and I'll say it now, at the beginning of the year and at the beginning of the vlog, the secret to being successful in college is to meet people. You have to go to the events, you have to meet the people. There are always a few kids that stay in their room and don't want to participate, and they really miss out because they might not want to go to the ice cream social, but the person they meet at that event could make a great roommate two years down the line or could make a great business partner 10 years down the line. And no one can see how the network of relationships stretches into the future, but it's very important to show up every day. One of the most significant events for NSO is the activities fair. At this event, every club, every organization, every honor society, every sports team, every fraternity and sorority has a table on the quad and then all the freshmen can walk around and see the organizations on the campus. This is a great chance for organizations to recruit new members. I've been planning on making a vlog every few days, and I've been debating whether I should make a single video about a single day and tell a story start to finish, or if I should take a little bit of each day and then release a video at the end. And I'm leaning towards the former. I think that would be a cleaner means of storytelling. With that said, we're going to go back to yesterday, which was the last day of NSO, so we can see the activities fair. Then we're going to come back. This is what will be WPI's new innovation studio. And this is the activities fair. I've stopped by the Collab Lab, which is the WPI on-campus makerspace, and there's a very special project that I've heard about before, and it's actually here with the person who made it. I'm Richard Eberheim, and I'm a member of the Collab Lab, and this is the project I've been working on. So this is a full-size replica of a Gemini capsule built out of plywood, lumber, the assorted, and the idea is to make it play Kerbal Space Program. So Kerbal Space Program is a game that simulates a space program. So you've got to build spaceships, you can launch them, it has orbital mechanics and a solar system in it. And the idea is 
No one else has really done it before with spacecraft. Um, there's um, sim pits and all for flight simulators, but nothing really for spacecraft. So I wanted to create a spacecraft sim pit for Kerbal Space Program. Now this is this is one to one. Yes, right? this is one to one. So this is full size. Yep, it's seven and a half feet in diameter at the base, and I'm just around three feet in diameter at the top. That's incredible. That's really cool. So could you talk a little bit about the Collab Lab? Yeah. So the Collab Lab is a student-founded and student-run makerspace on WPI's campus. So it started about five years ago uh, when a couple of students that like making stuff got together and found a professor to start a space. And essentially we just have a lab area with lots of tools and supplies that are all donated and free to use for students whenever they want to make something cool. Thanks for telling me about it. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. When this is done, it will be a fully rendered spacecraft simulator. That's awesome. So walking around the activities fair, I have found Alpha Phi Omega, and this is the table. And this is Zayla. Hi, we're a co ed service attorney, and James is one of our members. And it's super fun. <laughs> so, what does APO do on campus? On campus? Well, we just finished helping out with Gretchen Move, and we're doing bike maintenance on the green team bikes. Uh, we're going to Community Harvest Project this like, Saturday, and we um, are going to like harvest food for food banks. And we do a lot of other things like that. Um, we try to do three or four service projects each week. Um, and we're having a ton of fun doing it. It's true. Because we are the community service fraternity on campus, we do service to the Brotherhood, we do service to the campus, and we do service to the surrounding community and nation. So there are a lot of different events every week and every month where we can get out and help different groups of people. So I've met up with another friend at the Satellite Development Club and they're working on a very cool project. Well, I'm Rachel, I'm working in the Satellite Development Club and we're building a CubeSat, which is a small standardized form for a cube uh, satellite to uh, send into space that uh, schools and universities and companies use to um, get their own projects out there. And we're applying to the CubeSat launch initiative. It's a solicitation from NASA and we're hoping to get a free launch into space, hopefully within the next couple of years. Now this is a multi-year project, this so it's, like, it's really involved. This is a big to-do. So if a student comes into WPI and they start out as a freshman, then the group can grow with them as they go through WPI. Oh, absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. And we've grown as a club just in the past couple of years. So if all goes well, you'll have something in orbit. Yes, that's, if all goes well, that's, that's the that's ultimate so cool. goal. That's incredible. <laughs> You like music? You do love music. Non-audition group, you can take it for academic credit. Uh, you can take this. We will be rehearsing tomorrow. So what we have here is we have an acapella group and we have Men's League Club over there. Men's League Club is basically the men's chorus. Uh, you can take it for credit. Uh, it really is a lot of fun. You just make a lot of friends. So what's your name? Nick. Nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you, Ryan. So, uh, Give it a shot. If you want to get more information, you can sign up over there. We are the WPI Men's League Club. We're the oldest club on campus. Every October, we go down to New York City and we we sing at the largest cathedral in North America. Back to today, which is the first day of class. The class schedule at WPI is different from other schools. At most schools, students take five or six classes at a time over a full semester, 14 or 15 weeks. And WPI does things a little bit differently. We have a quarter system. So students take classes for seven weeks, then we have a week break, then seven more weeks to finish the semester. 
but instead of extending classes over those full 14 weeks, we take three classes and then we finish them, do a week break, and then take three new classes. That means that compared to other schools, the courses at WPI are twice as fast, but the system works because we're only focusing on three classes at a time. In the fall semester, we have A term and B term with fall break in the middle. And in the spring semester, we have C term and D term with spring break in the middle. The pace of seven week courses is manageable because we're not spreading attention over four or five other courses at a time. And because we're doing something new every two months, things stay fresh. You get to meet more people, you get to have new schedules. You get to see different parts of campus. Today, on the first day of class, everyone is learning about what they're going to be doing for the next seven weeks. And that means the midterms are coming in three weeks. And the first day is also when most clubs start meeting again. Yesterday, I was promoting the Glee Club at the activities fair. And tonight is our first rehearsal. WPI has the WPI Men's Glee Club, which is the male chorus. And we have Alden Voices, which is the female chorus and we rehearse separately once per week, and we rehearse together once per week. And tonight is the first combined rehearsal. If you watch the vlog, you're going to be seeing a lot of these organizations over this academic year. And these organizations are more than music organizations. These are social organizations. And the connections that we have between our brothers and sisters in song define our WPI experience and make it something really special. These groups are tight knit and at the same time, extraordinarily welcoming. And they are a very special part of WPI. So Howdy. Guys are Let's go. Yeah.